When somebody says that something went the way of the dodo, they mean it disappeared. Gone, no longer around, vanished. Just like the dodo. However, the dodo did not simply just vanish, it went extinct, and unlike cereal straws, we have a pretty good idea how this happened. Dodos are essentially the worldwide symbol of extinction. It has been extinct since the late 1600s, with its last confirmed sighting being in 1662. The first recorded mention of the animal was in 1598 by the Dutch sailors. So yes, just 64 years after the Dutch sailors saw them and recorded them, they were basically extinct. However, due to religious views of the time and so on and so on, they weren't officially declared extinct until the 19th century. 64 years, however, is an incredibly short time frame to wipe out an entire species. So how exactly did this happen? To begin, the dodo's entire population was isolated on one main island, Mauritius, and a few surrounding islands. There were rumors of a white dodo located on nearby Reunion Island, but it's now believed that it was just a combination of dodo-like paintings and sightings of the Reunion Ibis, also extinct, that led to this story. Anyways, yes, the dodo's entire population was pretty much on one island, which means that when you're a slow-moving, flightless bird that is not afraid at all of humans, you're easy prey to those humans. Human hunting, paired with the introduction of species such as macaques and pigs, led to the extinction of a species that really had nowhere to go. Today, it's also believed the species was already struggling by the time humans got there due to a variety of floods that hit the island. We know about the floods due to finding fossilized dodos and other animals. So while they were isolated to Mauritius, did anyone ever take them off the island? Well, yeah. Although with most attempts, we don't know if the dodo lived or not. We do have a few accounts of them making it to places such as London, but not many people were attempting large-scale captive breeding programs in the 1600s. To call somebody a dodo is to call them dumb. However, was the dodo actually dumb? Many say it was, since in reports it openly approached humans. However, this is a species that had little to no interaction with humans and lived in relative peace. So I think it's unfair to call it dumb. It actually, probably, had the same intelligence as a modern pigeon. This is because the dodo was actually related to pigeons. See, the dodo was in the subfamily Raffinae alongside its also extinct brother, the Rodriguez Solitaire another flightless island bird. The Raffinae subfamily fell under the Columbidae family, which consists of pigeons and doves. The dodo's closest living relative would be the Nicobar pigeon. Based off written records, it's believed the dodo lived up to 21 years in males and around 17 for females. Its leg bones show evidence that it could run quite fast. <laughs> Not faster than human hunters, unfortunately. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't you say earlier in the video that dodos were slow moving? Yes, I did, and that's because in most records they're shown as being slow moving. However, based off their bone structure, they were capable of running fast if they wanted to. Its diet was believed to be primarily fallen fruit, with some believing they also used their beak to eat crabs. As for its name, the original name for it was this. I not even, yeah, I, I can't pronounce that. This name is Dutch. Volg means sickly, and Vogel means bird. Apparently, this bird never had a flattering name. Also, not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Please let me know in the comments below, Dutch people. As for dodo, nobody knows for certain how it got the name. Some say it comes from another Dutch word, oh boy, dodor, which means sluggard, or dodar, which means fat ass assets? Fat assets, yep, that's what it means. The dodo was rolling in dough. English sources around the time, however, claim the word came from the Portuguese dodo, which means crazy. Despite these claims, we have no historical evidence of the Portuguese ever mentioning the bird. So how did the dodo become so popular in mainstream culture hundreds of years after going extinct? Well, many cite Alice in Wonderland. See, around the time Lewis Carroll was writing the book, dodo fossils were being excavated and put on display. This led to a fascination from Carroll, which led to him including a dodo in the book keeping the dodo in popular culture. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care.